have you ever heard about the KH-22 missile? This Soviet-era long-range airborne supersonic cruise missile has been creating waves in the military world recently. The Ukraine Air Force spokesperson has disclosed that their air defense units were unable to shoot down any of the KH-22 missiles launched by Russia. Quite a revelation, isn't it? The KH-22, originally designed during the 1960s in the USSR, was a weapon of formidable power. Its primary objective was to obliterate large warships, including aircraft carriers and even groups of such carriers. Armed with a nuclear or highly explosive fragmenting cumulative warhead, the KH-22 was the embodiment of destructive force. The missile was specifically designed to be launched from Tupolev-22 bombers, creating a truly lethal combination. So, why was this missile so effective? Why was it feared? To understand why it's so potent, we need to delve into its history. The story of the KH-22 begins in the 1960s. In the midst of the Cold War, the Soviet Union was in a race for military supremacy. As part of this quest, they developed the KH-22, a long-range airborne supersonic cruise missile. This missile was not just any ordinary missile. It was specifically designed to be launched from the Tupolev-22 bombers, a strategic bomber and maritime patrol aircraft developed by the Soviet Union. The KH-22 and the Tupolev-22 bombers together formed a formidable force. This combination was so effective that it was referred to as the KH-22 Special Air-to-Surface Missile Complex. These weapons were a perfect match for each other. The Tupolev-22 bombers, with their long-range capabilities, were a fitting launch platform for the KH-22 missile, which was designed to destroy large warships, including aircraft carriers. The KH-22 wasn't just about raw power, though. It came armed with either a nuclear or highly explosive fragmenting cumulative warhead, making it a force to be reckoned with. It was a clear demonstration of the Soviet Union's technological prowess and military might. Over time, both the KKH-22 missile and the Tupolev-22 bombers underwent modernization. The missile complex was not a stagnant project, but a constantly evolving one. The Soviets were always looking for ways to improve their weapons, and the KH-22 was no exception. This drive for improvement and the pursuit of perfection is a key theme in the story of the KH-22. The modernization process also involved refining the missile's capabilities. The Soviets wanted the KH-22 to be more than just a weapon of destruction. They wanted it to be a symbol of their power, a testament to their technological advancements and a tool for maintaining their position on the global stage. But the missile didn't stop there. It went through significant upgrades in the 1970s. These upgrades further enhanced the KH-22's capabilities, making it an even more formidable weapon. But that's a story for the next scene. For now, let's appreciate the genius behind the development of the KH-22, a missile that left an indelible mark on military history. The 1970s brought impressive enhancements to the KH-22. With the era's technology boom, the Soviet Union took the opportunity to make significant advancements to this formidable weapon. The missile's speed was dramatically improved, reaching a staggering 4,000 kilometers per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound, making it a supersonic missile. This speed allowed the KH-22 to reach its target in a remarkably short time, leaving little opportunity for enemy forces to react or intercept. The missile's warhead also underwent a substantial upgrade. It was now armed with a 1,000 kilogram warhead, a payload that could inflict tremendous damage. This warhead could be armed with either nuclear or highly explosive fragmenting cumulative materials, making it a versatile tool of destruction. The range of the KH-22 was also significantly extended. The missile could now travel up to 500 kilometers, providing a substantial reach for the Soviet air forces. This range allowed the Soviet Union to strike at distant targets with devastating precision, further reinforcing the KH-22's role as a strategic weapon. Let's not forget about the weight of this beast. The KH-22 weighed in at a hefty 5,820 kilograms. That's the equivalent of about four small cars. Despite its weight, the missile's advanced design and powerful rocket motor allowed it to maintain its impressive speed and range. The Soviet Union produced approximately 3,000 of these missiles, a number that speaks to their strategic importance and the role they played in the Soviet military arsenal. 
However, after the USSR collapsed, the fate of these missiles took an interesting turn. But that's a story for our next scene. Stay tuned to find out what happened to these formidable weapons after the fall of the Soviet Union. After the USSR's collapse, many KH-22S were left in Ukraine. This newly independent nation, however, made a significant decision. In 1991, Ukraine chose to renounce its nuclear and strategic aviation arsenal, marking a shift in its military posture. It was a move that echoed around the world, changing the dynamics of global politics. But what became of the KH-22S? Well, they didn't just gather dust. In the year 2000, Ukraine transferred a total of 386 KH-22 missiles to Russia. This wasn't a simple act of goodwill, though. The transfer served as an installment against a gas debt Ukraine owed Russia. It was a unique transaction, one where supersonic cruise missiles became a form of currency. Yet, the legacy of the KH-22 didn't end there. It paved the way for a new missile. From the ashes of the KH-22 rose the K-32. This successor missile took the best of its predecessor and added a dash of innovation. The KH-32 can be carried by the new Russian 222M-3M bombers, making it a formidable addition to any aerial arsenal. Its features are a testament to progress. Unlike the KH-22, the KH-32 is armed with a conventional warhead, reflecting the shift in warfare strategies. Its rocket motor too has seen significant improvements, boasting a more efficient and powerful design. The KH-32 also introduces a new radar imaging terminal seeker, a technological leap that allows for more precise targeting and navigation. This missile, while having a smaller warhead, compensates with a longer range, enhancing its tactical advantage on the battlefield. The KH-32 stands as a testament to how far missile technology has come since the days of the KH-22. While the KH-22 may be a relic of the past, its influence can still be seen in modern weaponry.